possibility is that it may release some other objects that reach uh, the planets and it will continue along its course. Something is truly on the edge of cosmic possibility. Comet 3 I Atlas, the interstellar wanderer, has unveiled a terrifying secret. NASA scientists, once marveling at its distant journey, are now locked in a frantic race against time. Fragments have been detected. You see, the original comet was a spectacle, but its breakup has unleashed something far more concerning. The thing nobody tells you is that when a celestial body this massive disintegrates, its pieces carry immense energy and their trajectories can be unpredictable. Could these alien remnants actually be falling toward Earth, silently closing the distance? The answers will shake your understanding of space. Fragments Unleashed In early 2020, Comet 3I Atlas began to behave strangely. Instead of simply brightening as it approached the sun, it started to dim. What many overlooked is that this dimming wasn't a sign of fading away. It was the prelude to something far more dramatic. Telescopes, both on Earth and in space, watched in stunned silence as the comet, estimated to be up to three and a half miles across, began to fracture. You see, comets are often described as dirty snowballs, a mixture of ice, dust, and rock. When these icy bodies get too close to the sun, the ice sublimates, turning directly into gas, which then blasts off the surface, creating a beautiful coma and tail. But with 3 eye Atlas, this process went catastrophically wrong. The most shocking fact is that instead of a gentle outgassing, the comet's nucleus completely disintegrated. Images from the Hubble Space Telescope revealed not one single comet, but dozens of smaller fragments scattering across a wide swath of space. This wasn't a minor crack, it was a full-blown cosmic implosion. Scientists theorized that pockets of volatile ice perhaps carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide, deep within the comet's nucleus, became unstable as they heated up. This internal pressure, combined with the gravitational stresses of its journey near the sun, proved too much for the comet's fragile structure. It simply tore itself apart. Consider the sheer energy involved in such an event, an object weighing billions of tons, suddenly ripping into pieces. The fragments varied wildly in size, from fine dust particles to chunks hundreds of feet across. The implications were immediate and unsettling. While the original 3i Atlas was charted on a trajectory that would keep it safely millions of miles from Earth, what about its fractured offspring? The thing nobody tells you is that a comet's breakup doesn't just create smaller versions of itself, it creates a debris field and each fragment is now an independent projectile with its own path. NASA's planetary defense systems, designed to track near-Earth objects, suddenly had a much more complex problem on their hands. Instead of one large, predictable target, they were now monitoring a swarm. This situation is akin to a single, easily trackable ship suddenly exploding into hundreds of smaller, harder-to-monitor vessels, each veering in a slightly different direction. The closest 3i Atlas was projected to come to Earth was a staggering 170 million miles. To put it mildly, that's far. But a dispersed cloud of fragments presents a different kind of challenge, as the uncertainty of each individual piece's trajectory increases. What many overlooked is that even a small change in velocity or direction for one of these fragments, perhaps from a subtle gravitational nudge, could alter its course significantly over vast cosmic distances. The question wasn't just if these fragments were detected, but how reliably their new paths could be predicted. With so many pieces, all relatively small compared to the original comet, the task of tracking them became exponentially harder. You can see this everywhere in the world of space observation. Smaller objects are simply tougher to spot and track. The sheer volume of new data pouring in from telescopes across the globe and in orbit was overwhelming. Each dot of light, each faint streak had to be analyzed, its potential trajectory calculated, and its threat level assessed. This wasn't just an academic exercise, it was a high-stakes calculation with our planet's safety potentially hanging in the balance. The cosmic dice were rolling and humanity was just beginning to understand the stakes. But what did NASA's in-depth analysis of these rogue pieces truly reveal? Debris of the Interstellar Wanderer The disintegration of 3i Atlas was not a neat event. It was a chaotic unraveling, unleashing a ghostly swarm of debris into the inner solar system. 
When a comet breaks up, you see the fragments often continue along similar paths for a time, but tiny gravitational perturbations or continued outgassing from individual pieces can slowly spread them out. This makes long-term predictions incredibly challenging. NASA's advanced tracking systems, like the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, immediately shifted their focus to these new, unpredictable targets. They had to distinguish these fragments from the countless pieces of space junk and natural asteroids that already populate Earth's orbital neighborhood. The thing nobody tells you about cometary fragments is their composition. Unlike solid, rocky asteroids, cometary pieces are often still rich in volatiles, meaning they can continue to slowly release gas and dust. This mini-comet activity can further alter their trajectories in subtle but significant ways, a process known as non-gravitational forces. It's like trying to predict the path of a sailboat when you can't see the wind. This makes the job of predicting a collision course even more complex. The most shocking fact is that even small fragments, perhaps only a few hundred feet across, could still cause regional devastation if they impacted Earth. Consider the Tunguska event of 1908, widely believed to be an airburst from a cometary fragment estimated to be between 65 and 200 feet wide. It flattened 800 square miles of forest in Siberia, an area roughly the size of a major metropolitan region without leaving a crater. Many people are crazy about the idea of giant, planet-killing asteroids, but what many overlooked is the very real danger posed by smaller, more numerous fragments. These smaller pieces are harder to detect, and their sheer number vastly increases the probability of an encounter. NASA's radar projects, like the Goldstone Solar System radar, were tasked with getting precise measurements of the larger fragments that came within detection range. These powerful radar dishes can bounce signals off objects hundreds of millions of miles away, providing detailed information about their size, shape, and velocity. Such precision is crucial, as even a small error in calculation could mean the difference between a near miss and a direct hit. The orbital mechanics are complex, but to put it mildly, 3i Atlas's original hyperbolic trajectory meant it was simply passing through our solar system, destined to return to interstellar space. However, its breakup introduced a new variable. Some fragments might have been nudged into orbits that were less hyperbolic, or even temporarily captured by the sun's gravity for a more extended stay. This could, theoretically, bring them closer to Earth's orbital plane at some future point. It's a cosmic game of billiards, where the balls are millions of miles apart and each hit is infinitesimally subtle. What many overlooked is the long-term impact of such a breakup. Even if no immediate threat was identified, a lingering cloud of debris crossing Earth's path years or decades later could significantly increase the risk of meteor showers or even direct impacts. We are not talking about a single bullet, but a shotgun blast. The volume of space these fragments now occupy is immense, but the density of objects within it has certainly increased. This means that while the chance of any one fragment hitting Earth might remain tiny, the cumulative probability of some fragment interacting with our planet over a longer timescale demands vigilance. You can see this everywhere in space debris tracking. Once something breaks apart, the problem doesn't go away. It multiplies. The continuous monitoring, the constant recalculation of orbits became NASA's silent, unending mission. But even with all the technology, some questions lingered questions that hinted at deeper, more unsettling possibilities. Could the interstellar origins of 3i Atlas hold a clue to its unpredictable behavior? Comet's Strange Chemistry The interstellar nature of Comet 3i Atlas offered both a unique scientific opportunity and a profound challenge. You see, comets formed within our own solar system are largely understood. We know their typical compositions, their icy makeups, and how they generally react to solar heating. But 3i Atlas was different. It formed around another star, carrying with it the chemical fingerprints of an entirely different stellar nursery. When its fragments were detected, scientists weren't just tracking debris. They were trying to decipher the secrets of an alien world. The most shocking fact revealed by spectroscopic analysis of the lingering dust and gas from the breakup was the comet's unusual chemical composition. 
Observations by the James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of engineering, showed 3i Atlas to be unusually rich in carbon dioxide and to contain specific amounts of water ice, carbon monoxide, and carbonyl sulfide. While many people are crazy about finding water in space, the unique ratios and abundance of these particular molecules were a wow factor, hinting at conditions very different from those found in the birth of our own solar system. This strange chemistry likely contributed to its explosive demise. A sudden release of these deeply buried super volatile ices could have acted like tiny internal bombs, shattering the nucleus from within. What many overlooked is how this unique composition could influence the behavior of its fragments. If pieces continued to outgas these exotic volatiles, their trajectories could be even harder to predict than those of typical solar system comets. To put it mildly, it added another layer of uncertainty to an already complex problem. Imagine trying to predict the path of a rocket, but you don't fully understand its fuel source. That was the challenge for NASA. The data from telescopes like Hubble and the Gemini South Telescope provided crucial visual evidence showing the comet's tail growing and its coma expanding as it approached the sun, all leading up to its dramatic fragmentation. The thing nobody tells you is that tracking these small, irregularly shaped fragments through the vastness of space requires immense computational power and constant observation. The gravitational pulls of the Sun, Jupiter, and even Mars could subtly alter their paths, creating a cosmic dance of unpredictable movements. Each fragment, no matter how small, becomes a data point in a complex equation. The ability to differentiate between these interstellar fragments and regular solar system debris is paramount. Sophisticated algorithms are used to trace back the origin of each piece, searching for that telltale hyperbolic orbit characteristic of an object from beyond our Sun's gravitational grasp. You can see this everywhere in the meticulous work of planetary defense. Every piece of information matters. These fragments, even if they pose no direct impact threat to Earth, offer an unparalleled opportunity to study material from another star system up close. They are like cosmic time capsules, preserving clues about the conditions of their birth. Scientists are analyzing their spectral signatures for organic molecules, looking for the building blocks of life that might originate elsewhere in the galaxy. What many overlooked is the potential for these fragments to deliver entirely new materials to our planet, microscopic dust particles that rain down on Earth daily, carrying alien elements or compounds. The implications for astrobiology and our understanding of the universe are immense. But could the very mystery of its origins amplify the potential danger, forcing us to rethink planetary defense? A constant watch. Even as the scientific community marveled at the interstellar origins of 3i Atlas, the more pressing concern remained. Were its fragments a threat to Earth? You see, while 3i Atlas itself was never on a collision course, its breakup introduced a chaotic element. When a comet fragments, it's not like the pieces instantly disperse across the galaxy. For a time, they travel in a loosely bound cloud, following roughly the same trajectory as the original body. The worry arises from the slight deviations, the gravitational nudges, or the ongoing outgassing that could send a piece veering off course. The thing nobody tells you is that NASA's planetary defense systems are not just about tracking giant, obvious threats. They are a complex, multi-layered network designed to identify, track, and characterize any near-Earth object, including cometary fragments, that could potentially pose a hazard. This includes a vast network of ground-based telescopes like PanSTARRS and the Catalina Sky Survey working tirelessly to scan the skies. These observatories are the first line of defense capable of spotting faint moving objects against the starry backdrop. What many overlooked is the sheer dedication required to maintain this constant vigil, a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week commitment to safeguarding our planet. The most shocking fact is that objects as small as 65 feet in diameter, much smaller than some of the larger fragments of 3i Atlas, can still cause significant damage. The Chelyabinsk meteor event in 2013, for example, involved an object estimated to be about 65 feet across. It exploded in the atmosphere over Russia with the force of approximately 500 kilotons of TNT, damaging thousands of buildings and injuring over 1,000 people. 
This event was a stark reminder that even relatively small objects can have serious consequences. Many people are crazy about the idea that only Hollywood-scale asteroids are a problem, but real-world events paint a different picture. NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies plays a crucial role in calculating these risks. They use sophisticated models to predict the future orbits of all known near-Earth objects, including the fragments of 3I Atlas, for hundreds of years into the future. This isn't a one-time calculation, it's a continuous process, with new observations constantly refining the orbital parameters and reducing uncertainties. The universe continues to unveil its mysteries. From interstellar comets to their shattering fragments, our journey of discovery is far from over. Will the next alien visitor bring a direct threat or an unimaginable gift? What do you think these fragments truly hold? Like this video, subscribe for more cosmic revelations, and join the conversation below.